Hey guys, Mika here, and I'm so honored and privileged to be able to have the opportunity to share one of Kanilea's um, flagship premier models. This is their 2023 Platinum Ukulele, number 15 of only 50 made um, out there. And this one has some pretty crazy uh, call. And I think it's no secret uh, that Kanilea has some of... <laughs> Some of the nicest call on planet Earth, um, in the ukulele world, they they like it's just never, it's surprising but also not surprising at the same time. You see something, you're like surprised, but also like, well, it's Kanilea. Of course, they're gonna use some of the nicest call, and this is no no different. This this ukulele just <laughs> it's pretty mesmerizing and pretty insane. But some other really cool um, aspects or appointments on this ukulele. Um, this is their 25th anniversary um, ukulele. Kanilea started in 1998, so 2023. So this is their silver model or their silver uh, platinum model. So to celebrate their 25th anniversary, again, Kanilea is just very innovative and just really just, <laughs> they're doing some awesome and amazing things. Um, but if we look at the appointments or the fret position markers, three, five, seven, 10, 12, especially 12, that's crazy. And 15, these are actually sterling silver hand cut and placed inside of the fret markers itself and if we take a look at measure 12 or not measure 12 fret 12 there's actually 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 <laughs> well i just learned something there's 12 of those little pieces of silver cut out and arranged in that beautiful formation here on the 12th fret also you can see the 25th right here logo on the bottom marking their 25th anniversary again in that silver and what really blows me away and especially when i saw the video um, of the guy hand carving pretty much just rolls it right here this is not machine made this is literally cut by a human each and every single slice in here and design is all done by someone and not by a laser machine or any kind of any of that kind of sort and to wrap my head around thinking that there's 50 of these and I can't even imagine how much time it takes to make one of these and to perfectly fit the mold um, to be able to just nicely rest in this rosette. Talk about elegance and just really just fine details, um, attention to details. So this is a pretty phenomenal instrument um, altogether. And then even usually Kanileo uses uh, Hawaiian Curly Koa or Hawaiian Koa to put their K logo, but that is also cut with the silver and put into the headstock so just phenomenal craftsmanship phenomenal stuff um, with this model you also have the true relief where the, the body is flat but it also kind of dips down like this so this is very pragmatic makes a lot of sense for us as players we you know tend to hold the instrument like this and because you have this relief right here it bends naturally into the formation of your forearm right here so when you drop your arm into the instrument it just fits it just feels it just works it just feels really good so i really love the innovative design that they included um on as well on this platinum model they included early under earlier models but i'm glad to see that they're continuing um with this design just really genius and um i can't even imagine how difficult it must have been to think of the physics of this or just <laughs> i have no idea what it feels like or what it's like to be a luthier but i can't even imagine just looking at this and bending the wood and trying to figure out the bracing in that specific section and then it still works as a playable instrument it's just really mind-boggling um in my opinion so Again, beautiful Hawaiian curly claw on the front. You can look at it on here on the sides. I just love the, <laughs> the different colors, the black, the, the blondness. And look at that perfect book matching, this nice striking black line that, that comes right in the middle of the instrument. This is literally a definition of perfect book matching. This wood just flips on that and kind of opens up like that. I love how the, the, the grain or the, the curls come in like this like a house at the top, like a roof, and then just this black part is just phenomenal. I love how the the, the, the grain con, come, it's so wide, and it, if this wasn't cut in half, I can see the grain just coming all the way across because there's just so much um, of the detail going on. Uh, really love that white on the, you know, really striking call. This is curly maple, you know, with the binding here on the back, as well as the front of the instrument as well as the, the scallop uh, scoop cutaway right here. So if you're trying to play up here, you can go ahead and, and do your business up there. Um, it's also the binding of the fretboard right here on the sides, wrapping all the way around. 
And just like how we have those silver leaves or silver cutouts right here as your fret markers, you also have your black fret markers here on the side, which is very noticeable. Black against white looks really good, as well as the, the strip along the neck and into the back plate of the headstock really nice coal as well look at that you can see some of the curls in there as well and then that ebony here on the top can't go wrong with ebony and then the silver on the top just really beautiful stuff and then the goto black stealth or the goto stealth tuners right here for that smaller footprint with their skinnier um, crown slotted headstock so phenomenal craftsmanship oh and i can't forget this little design with these leaves that one two three four five six seven leaves right here um wrapped around with the with the maple as well over here so beautiful stuff satin neck with the cola neck yeah this is a uh, pretty phenomenal again number 15 of 50 um there's only 50 of them out there so i'm just really glad to be able to hold one of them and share all of these little you know perfect details um with you folks so of course with the sound with connie leo you're gonna get that nice bright cheery happy sound it's just that's just it's the sound of connie leo but furthermore with the koa you're just gonna get that that tonal qualities of koa which is your nice warm warm hug kind of sound nice warm sweet frequency you can nice bright brightness and clarity on the a and e string so very sweet and warm all together when you're playing up the fretboard just really clear clean like a bell just really squeaky clean Plays extremely well. Really easy setup, really nice. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, beautiful stuff. So let's go ahead and take this for a ride with a sound sample. Here we go. keys <laughs> key changes and stuff but man this ukulele is fun just keep going around in circles <laughs> oh 
it's a really fun instrument to play. It's one of those instruments that you're just, um, of course, again, so beautiful, but it's one of those sitting on your couch and you just, uh, just noodling around. One of those instruments that's just so fun to play. It's really easy to play. It's set up really well. It just feels really good. Um, yeah, this instrument has it all. So this is what it sounds like with some strumming. 